All right, everyone, it's uh, 3.30, um, and so we might make a start in the next uh, second last, I think, uh, session of uh, this, what's been an amazing ECM conference. Um, okay, so um, uh, introducing myself again, I'm back, and uh, uh, I'm Alex Lum from, the, from Wikimedia Australia. Um, I think I might have overcommitted myself a little bit. Uh, I, uh, I, I said I put my hand up in some meeting. Yeah, I'll do that first to to uh, to moderate this session, uh, which is about the the uh, ECAP hub and where we go to from here. Now, unfortunately, because I've been, uh, as uh, many of you have seen, I've been wrangling tech and uh, changing over computers and cables and uh, Zoom streams and so on. I uh, have have uh, only sporadically been able to make it to the. The, uh, the very fruitful hub discussions that have been taking place um, over the last two days. Um, so I didn't feel I could, uh, uh, would be very uh, uh, much of a moderator if, uh, because I missed, unfortunately missed most of those discussions. So I've asked uh, Madad, who has very kindly agreed to, uh, to take over from me as the, the moderator for this session and, uh, and take us through the, the discussions the hubs for the, uh, and, and, and particularly the ECF hub for the, for the last few days. So Madad, I'm sure needs no introduction, but I'll introduce him anyway as a senior communication specialist um, at the Wikimedia Foundation. And you would have seen him uh, around. He's been uh, walking around talking to most of us. Um, so yeah, thank you, Madad, for, uh, for uh, taking, um, taking over the, the moderation for this session. And I'll hand over to him now. Thank you, Madad. Hi everyone, thank you so much for giving me this time. We only have 45 minutes together, but thank you organizers. There's been so much going on this weekend that I feel like many of you were able to take part in the hubs discussions, but if not, we'll do a really quick recap. Perfect. Um, I mean, for many regions in our movement, even the concept of coming together, discussing a hub is new. Uh, whereas here, you have already been collaborating in this identity, ECA, ECAP. Collaboration comes to you as second nature, and it's really wonderful to now see there is a desire to make that a little bit more formal. So to quickly go over the previous discussion, some of the things, if you're wondering what a hub is, some of the discussions were about uh, a place to for you to coordinate, a, a way for you to better access resources, have better communication support, but also to be able to connect with the global movement uh, more easily. Also things of like mentorship, support for communities that are un or underrepresented in the ECF communities, uh, a, a way to a platform for affiliates, but also a way for uh, non-affiliated community members and contributors to connect. Uh, this will go through quickly. So that was the discussion of the first session yesterday. So much has happened. It's hard to think it's all now. But yesterday we had a great discussion and we realized, you thought about it, that kind of making the collective decisions, having representation from the region is a priority. Also this way to have access to resources yourselves. And then this would include um, access to resources, support for communication is a big one that keeps coming up, time zones, translations. And of course, with these in place, then often you would lead to greater transparency, which is good for everybody. So again, this is what was discussed yesterday, representation, something two ways, not just from this region to a central way, welcome. Um, but also a focal point for information sharing towards you um, and communication, coordination, and a platform where you know where to come. Uh, and of course, transparency and access to resources. This is what was discussed in just the previous session. We broke out into three groups and we kind of thought about how, okay, we want to create a hub, but how do we want to get there? And there were some really, really great ideas. I think regardless, across the board in the room, the sentiments were that there needs to be an affiliate, sorry, there needs to be a staff support to get this going. Coordination, communication, going after so many people, it's not easy and it's not something that somebody can just do on the side. 
So a desire to have a dedicated staff member and a lot of the how can still be decided, whether this staff member sits with an existing affiliate, uh, how they'll be remunerated, where they'll be based, a lot of this will be decided. But regardless, one group even went to think about more of the roles later. So once there is a coordinator, then there's an opportunity for an administrative role, a communication role, a grants role who would work with the incomparable Jacqueline, uh, also translation management support, because again, uh, if there is one incredible thing of many things about this region, it's the diversity of languages, as we have heard. Oh, yeah. yes, absolutely. Also, I don't know what Bosnian president style, maybe we remove that. And we just say chairperson. Thank you, editors. Um, so that was, we discussed that previously uh, and whether it's actually, we went even as far as discussing um, sub-regional representation in this advisory committee with two to three roles dedicated to each. And so this is the topic of now this discussion. No chairman here just a collaborative group. Um, so the interim steering committee, a proposal from the group was that uh, in order to have representation in the steering committee that will then set up the hub, uh, it can't always just be emailing Butch, it needs to be a, a clear focal point, a clear group of people who want to take this forward. These were the suggestions, Southeast Asia, East Asia and Oceania, First, we discussed one seat, then we discussed two seats, then we thought three, then Oceania kindly gave up one of their seats because then Southeast Asia is even bigger. So some of you said you would discuss amongst yourselves at lunch. Uh, do we have any further clarity? Young Jin, yes. So also had a quick meeting so that we decide to be, I cannot, I, it is the actual representative is not, not shared, but like the, we, the East, in the East Asia, we divide by three communities, like the three language communities, for example, Korean, Japanese, and the Chinese language communities. So that we decided that the, in the East Asia, we have one, we have three, Three present this. One of them is from the Wikimedia Taiwan, and the another one is from Wikimedia Korea. And uh, we will be having the reasons the not having affiliates such as Japan or Mongol. So that so three is the tentative for at this moment. Is that right? Okay, great. I have to pass the microphone, yeah. <laughs> what? Any thoughts who who this person wants to be? Um, or I didn't will you experience. decide later? It's going to be decided later, but the Wikimedia Korea is, I'm pretty sure that's Gune Gu, which is Secretary General of Wikimedia. Okay. Thank you, Gu. Uh, I'm not sure who is going to be for Wikimedia Joyce, very cool. Amazing, Butch, yes. Sorry for being late. So I was actually a little bit hesitant because uh, there are, I think already wear seven hats already in the, mo in the movement, but uh, I took the, the role for, for Southeast Asia because some, since Wikimania is coming and I know that it needs some stability, so I signed up for uh, to be in the Southeast Asia, and then the Wikimedia Indonesia had nominated uh, Rahmat uh, to be uh, to be their uh, yeah the representative, and then the third we leave it actually to the Indochina plus uh, Myanmar and Thailand. So we have a brief discussion on it, and then probably uh, I give it the the mic to Atikun, who would announce who will be it. So for the third representative from um, Southeast Asia would be um, 
Where is he? It's going to be him. Uh, can you please stand up? Uh, user Asoma. So he has been uh, a long term editing community. He has been an um, administrator. Is that right? Are you serving as administrator on Thai Wikipedia? Not yet. Oh, okay. So just a user of the Thai Wikipedia, and he's been editing for maybe more than 10 years, and he's now living in Melbourne. So welcome him to the ECM Hub Committee. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay, so East Asia TBD, uh, one more seat. Also, some of the seats can be moved around. For example, if we end up with just two from East Asia, that's okay. This is an interim steering committee, it doesn't have to be set in stone. Uh, but if there are other people interested, Johnny had also expressed interest. Um, go ahead. I just wanted to say that at the moment, we do have two Australians uh, representing all Oceania. So um, apologies for that, but I have consulted our New Zealand um, friends and they are okay with this for now. And you know, we're quite happy if somebody else wants to come in. Yeah, very happy to change that over. So just it's interim. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Well, given that we're in Wikimedia Australia or whatever, um, we we'll hope that people might have a choice. I mean, this has only come come together over the past yeah, hour. No, no, I, uh, I think the thought was, like, yes, even the affiliates who have stepped up will go back to confirm with their membership that this is what they want to do. Uh, so it's not just whoever is here. Also, um, Vivian will take us through a communication plan so that this is communicated outwards and it's not just whoever is here. Uh, it's not a final say. Any other thoughts for what has come up in the membership? Otherwise, okay. Okay, great. And again, this is your document. Feel free to change it as you like. Also, if you consulted your membership and they think otherwise, uh, please also share that. This is just... I think that should be the must. Please consult your membership to make sure everyone's okay with the decisions made here. Okay, great. So... For what? The location. Of Wiki. No, there's no location. No. Yeah, at the beginning, yes. And then the interim committee can decide whether they even want a physical location. And if so, which should it be with an existing affiliate or should it be something separate? We can also explore some of the other models being explored in other parts of the movement. For example, in the CEE meeting, uh, Wikimedia Poland has taken kind of the coordination support for the rest of the region, but they also have a multidisciplinary group, uh, including members from the rest, and they've hired a coordinator. That's one way others have selected a place, others have decided to remain virtual. So that's something that uh, you will decide, but definitely not from the beginning. Um, any other thoughts about this part? How do I? This slide is kind of stuck. And next, we're going to think about just some milestones that maybe this group uh, should aim for achieving working back from uh, Singapore.
Maybe no presenter view. Good enough. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So some membership is forming, it's emerging from these conversations, some priorities are emerging. Um, so what should this interim committee do for the next little while? Uh, obviously a survey was shared amongst many of you for the past two weeks. So the MSG team will make a summary of that, translate, share that, more about that later. Also the results of this discussion here will be shared. So we make sure everyone feels included, everyone agrees. Um, what else, what are some thoughts? Many of you have worked in uh, other organizations. Many of you are working in organizations here. Um, what is something you would love to celebrate at Wikimania when the world is in Singapore, in the region? Can we work backwards from that? What would be a great achievement for this committee, for this hub? Any thoughts? Communities in Zoom, uh, Asian diversity. Okay, <laughs> say that. Asian diversity was a committee in the Zoom. Great, Asian diversity from the Zoom. Thank you, Zoom friends. So that's more of a theme for actually they have, they already know the theme for Wikimedia. Yeah, as someone from not from the EC app, um, I would like to share a suggestion. If you like it, maybe that's something that uh, the EC app hub can take up. Um, I think it would be really nice to do um, kind of a survey of what are all the communities, uh, what are all the uh, the different regions, countries, affiliates, and what capacities do they currently have. What are their needs? What are their capacities? Like if you do that kind of a survey, I think it will be uh, easier to then move from that and kind of uh, do uh, have uh, specialized programs, efforts for those specific communities to work on those uh, gaps that they have. Thank you. Perfect, needs, capacities, present activities. Great. Um, for actually the people who have signed up to do this, uh, Rahmat, where are you? Okay, what is something you would love if the hub achieves uh, over the next couple of months? Yeah, um, from my end, I think that this hub can plan something with uh, chapters in the ESAP region and perhaps like uh, doing something together, collaboration uh, in terms of uh, informal collaboration or maybe like formal collaboration that should be fine. Thank you. True. <laughs> <I'm stuck. laughs> uh, knowing the budgetary cycle, then I would like to see by August that the strategic plan and the budget had been approved and that we welcome the first executive director of the ECAP region. Cool. Could, could we put that on there? Great. Yes, Nagara. And then Butch, I'll come to you, Joyce. Um, as one of the people, as a participant of the group, I think one of our targets must be ready to transition to a formal, truly elected set of people to take charge of ECAP and run it into the future, set it all up. We'll, we'll cut the pathway and make it ready for the community to really take hold of it. And I've lost everybody. I like doing that. <laughs> um, 
this thing. Oh, I'll go with yours. Um, I'm actually pointed as a contact point for now. So, um, but I think first I will have to do is to communicate with our internal community more because I don't know how other affiliate were, but in Taiwan, many, many, very, very few people know what's hub is going on. A lot of our board may not even know what is happening right now here. So it's more conversation inside and uh, collect more um, message information internally, and then we can better uh, deliberate things back here. And my name might change <laughs> to other person. Okay. And what do you see the different time frames that like February, March, later, earlier? March? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, March is, uh, we, we, we say March because um, at the end of January and February, we'll be busy in New Year yeah. holiday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. March, right? uh, Your name is on here too. Oh, cool. Perfect. Google, Google will come to you. Amanda, any, any thoughts? What would be some achievable milestones to aim for? I'm, I'm on Prue's uh, campaign wagon. So yeah, I think we really want to be getting somebody on board, uh, paid to start coordinating things. And yeah, perhaps uh, you know, soon after that, looking to the next iteration of the committee and the steering group. So perhaps that could be something else that gets discussed. I, I like the idea of the survey. I think that's um, you know, more consultation. I've actually just been um, going through all the uh, post notes and it's so interesting, uh, the different issues that are, and, and they can be quite different. Um, yeah, so I think that would be really interesting to know what, what kind of support people, different communities are really looking for and to be able to identify that. Perfect. Thank you so much. So there's a desire to hear more take things back, make sure everyone feels included. Butch, and then we'll come to you. Okay. So probably to amplify our strong interest, um, I don't want to call it proclamation of independence, but we have to make a declaration document that we are really serious about having a hub. Like we put out a page on Meta and then everyone signs that we are intending to have a hub. So I'm thinking that, yeah, that's after the March uh, internal discussions that we form out a declaration document. Okay, this is all coming together well. Uh, my experience is when you're putting in new organizational structures in place, it's often good to have a project to test that the structures you're creating and procedures are going to be effective. So I was thinking, why don't we pick something that many of us have already been involved with running, such as say a photo competition called, let's say, I don't know, the icons of EC app, where all your photos you've just taken of the Sydney Harbour Bridge last night can be <laughs> uploaded. <laughs> um, and just use that project as a way to actually see if what we're putting in place is able to support that. So how we were going to do the translation, how we're going to engage the communities, but just have one project, even if it moves slowly, just to see if the, the methods proposed, uh, structures proposed are going to work. Thank you, that, that's great. And that's maybe something that you can decide uh, over December, January, an awesome project. And it also makes something to celebrate at Wikimania even more. Uh, so whether it's a photography contest, a logo contest, whatever, something that you already do well um, and something to present at Wikimania. Also, Prue, I moved the budget approval and maybe planning cycle a bit back 
So then hopefully if that's approved in June, then, then there could be your new coordinator um, meeting everyone in, in, uh, in August. Any other thoughts? Um, who else is on the, on the panel? Azoma, can we invite you to share some thoughts? What are some things you would like to do? You can also speak in Thai if you like, and our friends will translate. Okay. okay, no ideas yet, but thank you. Um, are we missing anything in between? Any middle steps? Because we're planning Wikimania, and we uh, are you okay that we allocate a space for uh, some sort of an ESEP summit within Wikimania? That uh, we could uh, we could have a, a large room and meet there. All easy up. Is it okay? In person, yes. Huh? In Wikimania. Uh, I think we we announced the dates on the other room, so that's in August. Yeah. So. Yeah, so between the 15th to 19th of August, or 20th, I mean, yeah. No, no, 20th is, yeah. Yeah, with, yeah within that 15th to, 15 to 19th of August. So that we could have some, some sort of a um, concrete action in there. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, yes, dates for Wikimania were shared. 16th to the 20th are the full dates of the program, but also keep in mind the 15th, while we will be doing rehearsals in the main room, all the side rooms will be available. So if you want to already plan for a meetup, uh, any discussions with your affiliate a day before Wikimania, plan for that already. Sorry, can you just confirm those dates? That's yes. The Actually, communication will be coming out with the theme and everything, but yes, 16th to the 20th is the full program, and then 15th would be a day for optional meetups, uh, things like that. Uh, okay, so let's just go, fifth, especially for people in this community, because you probably want to meet up, uh, 15th to the 20th. Uh, it's going to be incredible. Actually, can we share the theme? <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, the theme is, drum roll please, I've actually forgotten, I've, I've, I've actually tweeted it but not said why, <laughs> <laughs> diversity, collaboration and future. Okay, thank you so much. If there are any closing thoughts, again, this is just a concrete conversation started, many conversations to be had internally amongst yourselves. Uh, we have brave folks that have signed up uh, to take these conversations forward. Uh, others that will join them. Thank you so much. We have some things to work backwards from, some things to look forwards to. Uh, and then I'll invite Vivian to talk about how we'll communicate this out so we'll make sure that uh, there's consensus. Thank you, Murda. Um Sorry, I think I need to move the slide myself, right? I can do that. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, so Vivian from the Movement Strategy and Governance team here. Just want to quickly share with everyone what would be the next step after the conference. I mean, obviously we know that not everyone um, have the privilege to actually be with us in Sydney. And there's also a lot of valuable uh, and diverse voices in our movement that obviously should be heard as well. Um, so with that in mind that uh, the Movement Change and Governance team together with two committee liaison appointed by the uh, core organizing team of the conference worked together on the community engagement survey prior to the conference. Uh, we received 66 submissions with 25 valid responses. Uh, what, what it means by valid responses are those 
uh, that have at least answered what substantial uh, questions. So we do plan to publish a full uh, report on that analysis post-conference in December, together with um, what all have been discussed in the three sessions that happened here. So everyone still get a chance to see it, of course, including the ones that, yes. Uh, it happened uh, right before the conference because we do plan to roll it out. Okay. Um, right. Okay. So, so to share on that, the survey was distributed on the um, ECF Hub Meta page, also on the ECF uh, main um, social media channel. Uh, as I said, there's um, so there's we received 66 submissions uh, with 25 valid responses. But obviously, we know that this is not um, uh, why we did not get that much responses. But the idea is to use that to be able to guide part of the discussion that we're having during the sessions. So we have incorporated that uh, part to to the previous two sessions, and uh, the idea is just really ensure that everyone who didn't get a chance to participate in the conference or who prefer to share thoughts in the written form can also share their thoughts um, rather than they have to share verbally. And yeah, so I mean, this is really just to complement on the work that region has already been doing and to, sorry. Okay, um, but yeah, it was, yeah, I really understand the the point, but I, the idea is to at least also, since we already have that, and there's a there's still quite some people have put their time into already answering that. So um, to not invalidate those um, sharing and feedback, we obviously wanted to still share that with everyone. And we would um, note it very clearly, the number of responses and also how many value um, responses and also the demographics, we do plan to publish that. So people can have that in mind as well. This does not represent all the views in the region because it is um, that is the case, but these are some of the views, the valuable points of view that has been shared with um, prior to the conference and also has been used for the discussions. I hope that helps. Um, Okay, um, yeah, but I mean, we, um, we're really trying our best to be able to do that. Um, so just to share, maybe to share a little bit of the pre-planning process that was um, aimed to be part of the community engagement effort uh, prior to the conference. After the design of the survey, we had um, a consultation round uh, with the co-organizing team and also the program committee of the conference uh, before the survey is rolled out. And I, I do hope that it has reached as many people as possible, but really do apologize that due to the limit of time that there may, there are limitations. And yeah, we acknowledge that the limitation of that. And okay, uh, so perhaps if I can just quickly share the next step. Um, we, um, from the Movement Strategy Governance Team, we do aim to support the interim ECEP Hub Committee to roll a wider community, uh, community consultation. And I hope that that also address what you're sharing here that people will still... Um, and I am expressing that view, and I'm sorry about that, Vivian, but 
It does worry me that that okay. reduces the debate for going forward. And sorry, may I just clarify one thing? Sorry, maybe it was not com coming clear from my message, but that survey just used as a starting point for our conversation here so that we actually share part of the relevant responses during the session. So everyone actually joined the previous two ESAP hall discussion, all get a chance to see them. And also I believe everyone see the, uh, the data that's relevant on the etherpad and everyone have access to it, um, to be able to review what has been shared. And um, from there, um, people start having the discussion. So that is ra rather uh, just really the starting point. But so far, all the dis uh, discussion that coming out of it have actually come from the room. So from all the participants that have joined so far. So I hope that uh, clarify on that point. And so in terms of next, next step, uh, we're planning to support the interim committee to roll out the wider committee consultation to be able um, to have people who are not in this room, so the really wider, wider community, uh, to also be on board with the plan and um, so we can go forward. So the um, the two planning points here, these also come out of survey. We have a question asking people, if you don't, if you're not here in Sydney, what do you think is, is needed for, to be able to reach that consensus or for that decision-making? So people say, we have the view that that has to be on meta and also um, that it will be good to have an online meeting so uh, the idea is to have a call a conversation hour uh, to be able to have more people involved so that is just a um, current community engagement plan and as i said like happy to take feedback and to do wider um, support on that as well and on this note i want to pass it over to carl who's online, who's leading on the global uh, hub track from the Mosharjian Governance team. Hello, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yeah. So I hope the echo has been fixed. Um, good afternoon, everyone in Sydney. Uh, greetings from Morning Europe. Morning Europe. Uh, Europe, Europe, uh, Europe, 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 Europe. Europe. You have to keep the computer micro mute and the uh, uh, and if there are people on the zoom also inside the room please uh, mute your microphones thank you so much um so i am carl uh, from the move strategy and governance team i sent you a greeting for the beginning of the conference and actually have been following throughout the weekend what's going on uh, thank you so much, Vivian, Ramsey, and Merdad, uh, for running the sessions. From my perspective, it seems that you have had a very good progress, and I'm really glad to see that. Um, when we discussed the goals with a program committee, what you want to get out, it seemed that maybe it is a bit over ambitious, like getting to actually appointed interim hub committee, actual action plan, like can we really do it? over a weekend, but it seems that you have been really committed. And this seems to be actually in place. If I look at the slide deck uh, of, of current session and the previous session, I, I see that the action plan coming out, there is still one seat to be appointed for East Asia, but it, it's really nice kind of interim uh, committee that, that seems to be in place uh, with, with many people hopefully sharing the workload. So that seems really healthy, and, and I just wanted to congratulate you uh, on a wonderful work um, across the weekend. Um, the other point that I wanted to loop back to uh, from prior discussions is that we're having concerns regarding the hub guidelines, like for for kind of organizational structure and uh, and whether it's helpful for the EC app or not helpful. What I would like to say that actually looking at this state now, after this conference, uh, the ECAP hub is filling the, the key guidelines. Like you now have a stated goal from the first session. Uh, you are committed to public documentation. You will be, uh, you, you have been kind of running the needs assessment. And this is what also a conference is about. And there will be further communication and engagement with the wider community. Uh, there is quite clear plan, at least what takes us to Singapore, Wikimania next year. Um, and, and that's all covered. 
plus you cover some of the kind of more nice to have items uh, that have been discussed. So there seem to be multiple entities, multiple ACAP organizations involved. Uh, you are thinking about inclusive leadership and, and uh, sharing the load. Uh, there were mentions about looking how the kind of work goes, basically monitoring and evaluation of, of what is happening. Uh, there is a community engagement plan, all of that, like you're, you are making good progress. And also in terms of the guidelines that we mapped out in a way theoretically, like what would we expect from for good practices of the hub? Actually, what you are stating here and what you have been working on, it really meets these criteria. So for me, from my perspective, uh, not having had a chance to join you in Sydney, I just feel like this has been a really great effort from you all during this weekend. And I'm just appreciative of, of all the work done, all the discussions had, and I hope that we can carry this momentum forward to really support the, the ECAP structure and uh, have even more to celebrate as a region when we all come together at Wikimania next year, now I know in August. Um, so thank you so much for work. Thank you for the Hubs discussion and uh, thank you for also helping me to, to look at your work on from the sidelines and, and join you virtually. So I'm really appreciative. Take care. All right. No echo? Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, I was just saying for the benefit of the Zoom where I was muted, uh, I was just saying uh, um, thank you to everyone for a great discussion today. Um, uh, we've got a long way to go, um, hopefully not too long. Uh, we can get this done. We've had some, uh, you know, many uh, brave, helpful people put up their hand up today to that you saw on the slides before to to sort of uh, uh, take this on and move it along. And we've got some uh, some dates that we can we can work on. So thank you to everyone who's discussed um, the the hubs, the the hub project, and and uh, movement strategy, and and Wikimania, and everything um, all over uh, today. So. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I'll hand over to Belinda, who will take us through the final <laughs> the closing final words. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, my dad. Thank you um, to all the people who've contributed um, over the last couple of days. What a huge couple of days! I'm. Um, just not quite sure how I've managed to keep going. <laughs> Huge thank you to all the people from uh, Wikimedia Australia, um, James especially, Prue, Alex. Uh, there's just a whole range of people who've been keeping things going. I can't even remember everyone. My brain is so full of amazing things that I have learned. So um, as I said yesterday, um, this is week six and two days. <laughs> So I have learned a huge amount. It's been fantastic to meet so many people. Thank you, everyone, for making it such a wonderful event. Um, one of the things we would love for you to do um, in the next couple of days, take some time to reflect on what you've uh, learned, uh, your experiences here, uh, the things that you uh, want to try and do, the, the collaboration you might take forward. We have an evaluation form. We will make that link available. We will, uh, I think, email it out. It will go on to Telegram. Uh, we have tried to paste it into the Etherpad, but the QR code doesn't like being pasted into uh, Etherpad, but we'll make sure the link is available. Uh, please, everyone, go in and have a look. Please give us your honest opinions. All the questions are optional. So uh, take your time, fill in the best of your ability and then please submit. I'm not sure when we're going to close that off. Maybe by Friday, we might close off the evaluation form. Um, but apart from that, I think um, I just want to thank everyone very much for coming this after uh, for coming the, all this way and coming um, and spending uh, time here with us in Sydney, in Australia. It's been absolutely fantastic to meet everyone. Um, I feel tired, I feel inspired, I feel excited. <laughs> so many feelings and I'm sure you're all feeling the same way. Uh, nearly, no, we've just got a couple more things to do. Uh, I just want to, um, oh yes, thank you. Uh, 
Venus, I think, just has a session that she wants to work through. Oh, Amanda's coming first. Okay. Amanda is coming in a moment. I can do this now. Okay, so um, I have a note saying we have to inform participants to do their report and post it to the conference report page before the conference closes. Oh, is that the message before the conference closes? Yeah. Scholarships, no, scholarships and affiliates. Scholarships and affiliates, please complete your reports. And sorry, when do they need to complete that by? Uh, 22nd of oh, thank you. Before Christmas. So before Christmas, yeah. I think I need to tell you that message before the conference closes, just to clarify. <laughs> Nothing like a rushed note at the end. Uh, we're still waiting for Amanda. So any other messages? We have someone at the back. Beeswax candle, over to you. Just want to let you all know that the work we started on yesterday on um, the Wikisource uh, session got completed five minutes ago. So there is now a book on Papuan fairy tales. We have on English wiki source, we have nothing up until then for Papua. So thank you. Oh, okay. Um, we're just trying to find Amanda. <laughs> there, yes. I've just added the link to the Papua and Fairy Tales in the uh, Telegram channel if you want to check it out. Thank you. I'll go and link the evaluation for you. Yes. There is a QR. Sorry, folks, we're just missing Amanda, our president. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> um, are there any other comments? Just briefly, Amanda hopefully will run in the door in a moment, but any other comments, Mangara? Oh, look, we've got a QR code up there with a the dinosaur in it. This is a QR code for the survey, so if you want to... Uh, we missed two things. We didn't welcome the ECAP Quokka, who's been travelling around the ECAP region for the last three, four years now. Um, we are going to hand it over to Robert, wherever he went, to take it to Singapore to help get everything ready for Wikimania. So, Robert, if you would take the poker and start Robert, introducing around in. Singapore and all the venues. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm Robert from Singapore. Um, just another comment is that uh, I, right now Singapore doesn't have an affiliate, but it wouldn't be the case soon. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Robert. I know the clock will have a wonderful time in Singapore because we all will too in August. Um, one other thing, everyone's been given these lovely gifts and roses is here in front of us. So you've seen these boxes and inside them is a water bottle. If I can, sorry, Rosie, I'm opening your present up on you. Oh, it's not yours. Okay. Um, these are the water bottles and what they relate to is this is an Indigenous Australian drawing and I will automatically apologise for not knowing what country within Australia it's come from. I know Alex is trying to get rid of me. Um, but what it tells is the story of Seven Sisters, which is one of the founding stories of the Indigenous cultures right across Australia and it interrelates with every country. It also is related to the Pallades star constellation, whatever it is. Um, and that runs and has stories through just about every Indigenous culture on the globe. So it links us all together. There is one other lovely little thing that 
some of the costs from purchasing those actually goes to help Indigenous education and share more knowledge, help people learn. Thank you, and thanks for coming. I'll give it back to Amanda. Any other comments from the floor? Oh, Amanda, hooray. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll just hand over to Amanda, who I think is doing uh, a summary of some of the comments and some of the feedback that we have received. So over to Amanda. Thank you. Thanks. Um, yeah, so uh, my daughter Bella, who's been here working, has um, wrote out all the transcribed, all the post-it notes. So I've done a little summary. I'm sorry, I'll just have to come up to you so I can, oh, that's okay. I'll just pop it here. Um, um, and yeah, it's um, it's just been really interesting to have a look. So um, in terms of challenges, Cross-region issues came up, uh, more knowledge sharing needed, each country doesn't know what other countries are doing, communities with diverse levels of knowledge, time zone, language barriers, distance and travel, uh, dif difficult to know how to get in touch with different ECAP groups, um, uh, local contributors are not interested in global issues or the global movement. Community issues, internal community challenges with community governance, polarized communities. Wikimedia issues. The idea of Wikimedia is not very clear to various people. There's difficulty explaining our model. There's a ne negative perception of Wikipedia and other projects and academic communities. The user interface needs to be more welcoming and modern. You know, young people uh, don't want to engage with it. Uh, hard to set up accounts. Uh, there's a so there can be a flow on impact with you know changes to Wikimedia in other systems. Um, volunteer retention and engagement, onboarding and training is difficult. It's hard to participate in English speaking spaces, uh, low tech skills, limited technolo technological infrastructure. It's overwhelming and unfriendly for newcomers. This is <laughs> there's a big problem. Partnerships, how to find good ones organizations that need to be engaged, hold information, don't want to share it, capacity building, team building and staff are needed, volunteer organizers are overworked, knowing where to find the answers is hard, low skill technology, um, more training from the foundations needed, small communities, childcare, always a good one to uh, think about. Tensions on content, academics versus editors, questions about reliability for students, lack of representation of indigenous people, fear of editing controversial topics, especially about a person, um, and technology and policy, vandals and bad guys, internet connections, um, being blocked in various portals, copyright and open access, inconsistent and changing copyright, government censorship and threats. Uh, so then, what lessons do we learn? So a bit more positive, question two. The ECAP connection. Collaboration with other editors across the nation and language boundaries is very productive and a lot of fun, which I think we've all found over the last two days. Translating property labels. ECAP is a region with a great community, diversity and lots of potential for growth. Wikimedia. Wikimedia works because it's a de decentralized and open engagement, engaging young community through the wiki, through competitions can hatch new members of community. Meetups are important. Online meetings have greater coverage and are flexible. Meeting regularly a month, once a month is a good thing. Having a place paid for by Wikimedia for volunteers to gather. Social media to socialize the movement. Communication is really important. We have to break barriers, collaborate with other members. Community consensus is important, so everyone can agree with a discussion or policy. Training, step-by-step -step tutorials, make training shorter, um, pay people for training, open refined skills, partnerships, make partners realize that working with us is a high value because we can help solve knowledge problems. And content, localized Audiovisual materials, mother tongues are crucial in the development of Wikipedia. There's not enough information about Cambodia on Wikipedia. That is an opportunity. 
We can bring new life to old things. Manuscripts can be digitized, like in Bali. The interest of youth in Wikipedia editing on pop culture and entertainment, not academic content. That's an opportunity. Um, get the diaspora uh, engaged on for various countries. Capacity building. Have paid staff in the chapter. Start small and following up is important. Um, even if trainers don't keep up editing, there's a better understanding of projects. Uh, so we need different measures. Foundation grants support growth and staff capacity. Prioritize your efforts and resources. Good documentation of working knowledge. And Wikimedia understanding, explaining rules, concepts, principles, and dynamics um, for, for newbies. And tech and policy issues. It's decentralized. No one can control everything. This is a good thing. So some magic fixes that people would like. Improved international relations and understanding. Yay! Able to engage marginalized communities, languages, and cultures. Able to integrate and cite oral knowledge, opening doors to excluded contributors. Connect readers, readers to community on the ground in community advocates for Wikimedia projects. Quick and clear communication of how our movement works an introduction to everything. Equal access to knowledge. Wikipedia training in primary schools. The spirit of volunteering, people open to share knowledge. Documentation of local languages in one usable space. A super etymology machine. Making Wikipedia available in 6,000 languages. And, yes, wouldn't that? Yes. Let's, let's do that. Um, and total eradication of disinformation, misinformation, 100% truth and accuracy, no edit wars or bad editing, no political or religion or sexual conflicts. Yes. <laughs> Technology, internet connection devices for everyone. And fix the stereotype that Wikipedia is not reliable. That'll probably do, but lots of fantastic ideas. So thank you. We'll try and sort of write it up into a, a more thorough summary and send it out. But that's all your thoughts. Thanks, Amanda. What a list. Amazing, some mighty goals on there, but also some things that are quite achievable and attainable uh, probably in the near future. So no, Venus, no, no, you're done. Okay, <laughs> I thought there was something from you. Um, I think that is it, unless there is anything. Oh, Jacqueline, sorry. Oh, we have Jacqueline, yay. Oh. Thank you. May I? Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Yael Weisberg. I'm the Vice President of Partnerships, Programs and Community Resources at the Foundation. That's a mouthful. So if you know Sakti or Jacqueline or Sadeep or Fiona or Imelda, you know my better, smarter halves. <laughs> um, this is my first time in Australia, my first time in Sydney, and actually my first time at a regional Wikimedia event. So I just wanted to thank you all. This was an amazing, amazing weekend. I learned so much. Some highlights for me personally, Chitra, the work that you and the Balinese community are doing digitizing Lontars. I don't know where Chitra is. Maybe she left earlier today. Yes. When they had a flight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Her sister's wedding tomorrow. Um, today, my mind was absolutely blown by entity explosion. Toby, where are you? Oh my God, that was like the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Um, and of course, the work that Lisa and Sophia are doing documenting Pacifica art on, on Wikipedia, just absolutely, or on Wikimedia, just absolutely amazing. I am really floored and awed and inspired by all of you. And I wanted to offer some formal thanks on behalf of the foundation. First to our fabulous hosts, Wikimedia Australia, Belinda. <laughs> Belinda, I can't believe you've only been here for six weeks. You should have seen me six weeks into my time at the foundation. I didn't know my left foot from my right. So <laughs> um, Amanda. 
I just saw you. Where are you? Thank you so much. The the energy that you brought to our opening ceremony was amazing. I've never felt so welcomed and in so many languages than I did by you. So thank you. Um, Prue, where's Prue? Prue, I could swear that there were five of you because everywhere I looked, you were there. So thank you so much for everything that you did to make this conference a success. Um, Bunty, where's Bunty? here oh okay well the only word i had for her was wow because if you attended the worlds of wikimania event the day before it was incredible and just wow so thank you to bunty and the team um alex where's alex oh right in front of me for amazing it and av support and the one thing i will note is that the only times that i saw the it kind of fail the crisps from taiwan were not there so just as a note for maybe Wikimedia Singapore to keep the crisps on hand. Um, anyway, thank you so much to the awareness and safety team too, those I already mentioned, but also Venus and Rahmat. Thank you so much. We appreciate you all. And of course, the whole COT. I've organized a lot of events in my day. And I know that for an event to go as well as this did, it means that a lot if in if not most of the work was done behind the scenes and beforehand. So thank you to Butch, Nangara, James, Caddy, Hilun, Jose, Mia, and Hardiansa. Thank you. You all are amazing. And finally, since we've spent so much time talking about um, cultural heritage, I wanted to share one piece from my culture. I am from Israel originally. And uh, in one of our sacred texts, the Talmud, one of our ancestors gives us, leaves us with this teaching or this exhortation that I always think of when I think of this movement. He says, do not be daunted by the enormity of the work. You're not obligated to complete it, but neither are you free to abandon it. So I just wanna say thank you all so much. I know the work you're doing is enormous. I know we will never complete it. Thank you for not abandoning it. So basically, uh, you might be asking, when is the next ECF conference? Yeah. So definitely it will not next year because we will be all stressed out of Wikimania. Yeah. So the, it will be in 2024. So it will be planned out. So there are already some expression of interest to host the 2024 ECF conference. But uh, we will yet to consult with uh, with various stakeholders, uh, their own stakeholders, and also the uh, uh, the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, and we we we, are, we would like to assure you that ECF 2024 will happen. Thank you, and Jacqueline. Sorry, I'm just chiming in here. Can can we have the uh, ECF? core organizing team, can we all stand up? Um, we have a little gift for you from the foundation. Should be there should be thirteen in the room. Yeah. Did 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 everyone from the COT receive a, a gift? And then there's Belinda and James. Yeah. Okay. And I think Rosie is going to say the last words for us, like say. I feel like the last word should be thank you. Or... <laughs> so it's not the last word. So yes, thank you. I can say that. Um, I heard someone make a quote, uh, y'all make a quote just a moment ago, and so I'm going to make a quote, and it's by a gentleman named William James, and he says, said, 
act as if what you do is important. It is. I want you to know that what you're doing here is very important. And I hope you understand that and know that and appreciate it. Um, appreciate yourselves. And so now a big round for yourselves. Thank you to all of you. The last word now goes to Amanda. No, the last word goes to all of us. So Rosie said thank you in English, but you know, language diversity, I think we need to start, finish where we started. So I would like to hear from perhaps Maori. Can you thank you? Can we do thank you? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, in Punjabi, we say, Bot Bot Shukriya. Bot Bot Shukriya. Everybody? Bot Bot, bot, bot Shukriya. And can we have. From Indonesia? Yeah. Okay. Um, terima kasih. Banyak. Yeah. Okay, who's next? In Farsi, we say, Merci Mamnun. <laughs> In Mandarin Chinese, xie xie. Xie xie. and in Taiwanese, dosha. Okay, so in the Korean, kamsamida. How about the jeju? <laughs> Is there a word? Nope. Kumapuda, <laughs> kumapuda. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we've heard Noongar a couple of times, and the word for Noongar that closely resembles goodbye isn't goodbye. It's actually more like see you later, and that is bye one. Bye one. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Cantonese, it's probably the only word of Cantonese I know. Doze, right? Doze. Yes. Um, in, in Hindi, in Hindi, it's dhanyavad. I think it's shukri in Urdu, isn't it? In Japanese, it's called maturnwun. And what, while I've got it, I want to have a particular thank you to Gozi because uh, he did such an amazing job on the program. Yeah. In Paiwan language, Masalu. Masalu. This might be confusing to the Indonesians. Uh, you know that uh, welcome in Indonesia, in Malay is Salamat Datang. But for Filipinos, thank you means maraming salamat. <laughs> okay, anybody? Yeah. yeah. Oh, one more? Yeah. In Malay, we also, same as Indonesian, we say uh, terima kasih. Um, I can do te reo Maori from New Zealand. So it's Tena koto katoa. And uh, in Vietnam, we say cảm ơn. Oh, yeah. From Cambodia, we say o kun. In Biko Central, it's Mabalos. Well, um, I'm from Singapore, but Chinese is done, Malay is done. So I, I will do Japanese because I'm start, starting language, Japanese. Uh, so in Japanese, we'll say Arigato Kuzamas. Arigato. In Thai, we say Kop Kun. Also, um, not Laos here. Also, in Laos, we say Kop Jai. 
Okay, we're all done. Wonderful. No, I will not. I will not be joking anymore. Come on. Now, in Sundanese, it will be Hatur Nuhun. Uh, so the Balinese uh, friends, uh, they have left. So I would like to thank on their behalf in Balinese. It is Matur Suksama. Wonderful. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.